Hello, I'm Jennifer Remedino of Warner Norcross and Judd. Warner has been a proud partner of the Community Foundation for many years, trusting them to meet our clients' charitable needs and make positive, lasting change in our community. This year, as unprecedented and unexpected needs converged at once, it illuminated the necessity for a flexible endowment to support our community in times of need. Today, we happily support the release of this video that shares the power of our community's endowment. What would happen without the endowment funds? You know, honestly, that's scary to think about. You know, we see families coming in our door all the time and, and through this pandemic. I mean, our, our calls increased 400% of people that were scared. Um, scared about how they were gonna tell their kids that they weren't gonna have a bedroom anymore. What this pandemic has created for so many of us is the feeling of the loss of power and the loss of control. When an abuser experiences a loss of power and control, violent behavior, almost always escalates. In those early weeks, we were incredibly anxious about whether we'd be able to sustain these new levels of spending as we serve so many new neighbors. When COVID-19 happened, we went back to our homes and we were working offsite. But then with uh, George Floyd's death, the community needed to heal. For the last 50 years, Community Action House has offered support to our neighbors in their time of need. We've done that in a variety of ways, from food access to resource navigation and counsel. Our mission is to end homelessness and poverty. What I tell people that LIDA does is we build bridges between peoples. We um, provide everything from emergency shelter, crisis response, around the clock, to ongoing therapy and supportive services for both adult survivors and children exposed to violence in the home. The eviction diversion program for our community is fundamental. It's, it's critical to making sure hundreds don't fall into homelessness. A statement wasn't going to do it. Lita, we had to do something that really made an impact and really helped the community think about what they could do in order to deal with this. There are times all along the way where we started to worry about the future. And, and the Community Foundation and the endowment having our back help us to focus all of our energy on the immediate need. It was amazing how quickly the foundation moved in order to focus in on not just the basic needs, which were really, really evident and really needed during the pandemic, but all of a sudden being able to pivot quickly and focus in on, oh my gosh, there's this racial injustice issue that everyone is trying to grapple with. The need for us to take a risk and expand services to, to in some cases, literally keep people alive throughout this pandemic um, was absolutely necessary. We were able to make decisions and set up alternative options for families literally within a week. With the foundation being able to reach out to Lita and say, what are you able to do if you can dream and think about how you can extend your reach and the message? Gave me a chance to focus on what needed to be done rather than how we were going to pay for it. When I received the email on March 13th about the immediate 5K support to the work, I mean, first of all, I was just astonished. Early on in the process, Mike Gorehouse from the Community Foundation said, we're entering into trust time. We've known you for years. We trust the work you do, the results you get, and how you use the support we give you. You've got our trust. Now go. Without the funding through the Community Foundation and the community's endowment, our ability to act swiftly and provide those services in a timely fashion would not have been possible. One of the programs we were able to offer, thanks to the Community Foundation, was a direct cash transfer program, where a lot of families received $500 each if they met certain criteria about losing work um, due to COVID. It meant that cash was in the hands of families who were in a really desperate situation. It meant the world to those families, showing that we and the Community Foundation and all those who support it were in their corner. The support that the Community Foundation of Holland Zealand provided, in a word, was critical. Nonprofits will be celebrated for a long time uh, publicly for the work that's been done over the last four months in the world. That's, that's great. Um, nonprofits wouldn't be able to do it without the Community Foundation's quick action and trust-built action. The Community Foundation wouldn't have been able to do that without 
years of trusted relationships with donors that, that filled the endowment for just a time as this.